Hello everyone. Today I am going to share some facts on the Uluru. The art of the magic of Uluru is the way it tricks your senses. It might be deep orange by day, at sunrise and sunset it appears to change color, becoming a more vibrant shade of red and then almost purple. Its size also seems to change depending on your perspective. Approaching Uluru from afar, you are struck by how small it appears. But as you get closer, you realize it is truly a huge mountain in the middle of the comparatively flat Australian desert. A monolith in the vast desert. Quite strange, right? Uluru, in fact, is an inselberg, which means island mountain. It is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Its rich history, geological marvels and cultural significance make it a truly remarkable place to explore. Uluru, in fact, is a time capsule. Within its sand grains, there's an epic 550 million year saga of continents colliding, mountains rising and falling, and the remarkable strength of our most iconic mountain. Around 550 million years ago, the continents collided as part of the assembly of the supercontinent Gondwana, one of several times in Earth's history, where most of the continents were stuck together in one continuous piece of land. Back then, a map of our globe would have looked very different. At this time, Antarctica was nestled against the Great Australian Bight. If you were around then, you could have walked from Australia directly into Antarctica without getting your shoes wet. Uluru Katajuta National Park is sometimes called the heart of Australia and sometimes it is also known as the Red Centre. It is not only a famous tourist destination, but a spiritual place for the Aboriginal people. Let's talk about some of the facts about this great rock. Uluru used to be known as A.S. Rock. It was named by William Goss in 1873 after Sir Henry A.S. Uluru was the Aboriginal name for this sacred place and is now the official name. It lies west of the Simpson Desert, not far from the red centre of Australia, about 463 kilometres by road. So how was Uluru formed? Well, originally it sat at the bottom of a sea, but today stands 348 metres above ground. But it was just the hard rock of the monolith that remained after eroding away the softer sections. The oceans dried up around 400 million years ago, the Earth's tectonic plates moved, causing rocks to bend and tilt. Uluru and Katajuta both moved and tilted. Uluru rock is composed of arcos, a coarse-grained sandstone rich in the mineral feldspar. The sandy sediment, which hardened to form this arcos, was eroded from high mountains composed largely of granite. The surface is made up of valleys, ridges, caves and weird shapes that were created through erosion over millions of years. Surface oxidation of its iron content gives the would-be grey Uluru a striking orange-red hue. Ever wondered how big Uluru actually is? Well, Uluru is 3.6 kilometers long, 1.9 kilometers wide, tends about 2.5 kilometers into the ground, no one actually knows how far. Uluru height above ground is 348 meters, its height above sea level is 863 meters. So at 348 meters, Uluru is actually taller than Paris Eiffel Tower. Contrary to popular belief, it isn't the biggest monolith in the world. Mount Augustus in Western Australia holds the title. Uluru's impressive color changes are in part due to the iron minerals found in the rock itself. The iron has slowly affected the rock over the years and turned it to a bright red color. However, movements of the sun cause the rock to appear to change colors, from red to orange to purple and back again. To see the rock changing color before you, the best time of the day to visit Uluru is around sunrise and sunset, as that's when there is quite a broad contrast of colors, both in the sky and on the rock itself. Why is Uluru so special? Uluru and the neighboring Katajuta National Park are traditionally owned by the Anangu people. Uluru is a living and breathing landscape that is incredibly special, sacred and spiritual to the land's indigenous owners for thousands of years. 
Uluru is said to have been formed in the dream time, the earliest period of time. The local Anangu people believe Uluru to be hollow and that it contains an energy source that marks the spot where the dream time began. However, Uluru is not hollow. It is a solid rock that extends below ground level. If you ask me, can you climb Uluru? No, you can no longer climb Uluru. The Uluru climb closed permanently from 26 October 2019. Uluru's climb chain was first placed in 1964 to keep visitors safe after visitors began ascending the monolith in the late 1930s. Uluru remains sacred to a number of Aboriginal tribes in the region who still perform rituals in the caves and make new rock paintings. Music